Shit, I need to learn how to read. Oh, fuck. I do like that the um, monastery bell is the Fire Emblem theme. That is great. Uh, that is a really nice touch. So we have the Golden Deers, led by Claude. They're a colourful bunch. Himbo. Over here we have the um, Black Eagles, the Black Eagles. Best character in the game. Uh, I'm just saying that outright. She's fucking... She's so... <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? She's the person who absolutely should not be on a battlefield. But when you put her on a battlefield, she murders the fuck out of everyone. So... It's like an ends justify the means kind of thing. I should probably go say hello to my boss and introduce myself to my kids. Even though we're all like the same age. Of course. I'm still the teacher, you know? Alright, exploring. This is what most of the game is. Running around the monastery, doing side quests, chatting to people. I assume you here we go. already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy, correct? To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. Now, this is the thing I like. The academy's fucking massive. But you only get to see a little part of it for now. And as the game goes on, it adds more rooms to it. So by the end game, you know your way around this huge fuck-off castle. Like, it's one thing I hate in old RPGs, like Final Fantasy, is where they throw you into a castle and you're just like, where the fuck am I? Where is anything? There are so many floors, there are so many hidden areas. The monastery slowly lends itself to you. May I ask a favor of you? I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbalk. I am the princess I've always said that surname wrong, whoops. <laughs> I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. Nah, I hope you've had already a voted for the before. king. Sorry. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? If there's anyone out of these kids that you're like, oh, cool, I want them in the class, in our class, uh, make a note of them. So obviously we have Edelgard herself. We can't actually add her to the class because she's a class leader. She's very committed to the uh, well, the Black Eagles. So I think I'm a bit yeah, distant. arrogant even. But there's little to be done. One day I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Like I said, we'll go through them all one by one, and then we'll actually go and meet them as well. So, Hubert. Hubert also can't join us because he is loyal to Edelgard. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He, has he is the edgiest the edgelord in the he fucking world. Cold, but... <laughs> Actually, that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. He's astute and reasonable when he's not threatening to assassinate other students for getting too close to his empress. Now onto the people we can actually recruit. We can drag them into our class. Ferdinand. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. <laughs> this fucking guy, though. His house is that of Duke Iyer which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is perhaps too pleased with its own status. This guy's very egotistical. He's big headed. He's good at lances. He's good at horse riding. Standard cavalier. Bit of a, a bit of a dunce in most other regards. Linhart. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him and nothing else. He's also fond of well, napping. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. All right, Linhart. He's a healer. He's a mage. He's lazy as fuck. 
he and Edelgard are the only gay characters in the game, I'm pretty sure. So, if not for my no dating students rule, I could have dated Lindhart. But I'm not going to do that. I'm a teacher. That's an abuse of my power. So let's not do that. He does have cool pants. He has very cool pants. Catnap as well. His ability up there. If he does fuck all, he heals himself. <laughs> He's so fucking lazy. He will just stand there and casually heal. Power nap during battle. Caspar! This guy fucking loves to fight. Son of Count Bergwies. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. <laughs> this fucking guy, he's gonna run into a massive horde of enemies and die if you let him. Don't let him. Uh, born fighter. Big strong dude. He doesn't look that bulky, but he's pretty tough. Best character, favorite character. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. She's like I the living embodiment of anxiety. <laughs> she just leave, is constantly terrified of social sure encounters. She doesn't like fighting. But fuck me, when you bring her into battle, she wrecks all of this shit. She's like one of the best archers in the game. So even her ability, persecution complex. If she's been injured, she just gets unkillable. <laughs> she be the five attack is a lot in Fire Emblem. That is an extra five damage per hit. So if you hit twice, that's an extra 10 damage for an archer. <laughs> that's a lot. So yeah, Bernadette, uh, great character, but again, it's down to you. Dorothea. Few commoners have joined the Black so Eagles. Dorothea, Dorothea, unlike pretty much everyone else we've seen so She's far, a is a commoner. From a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the opera. She actually Empire. earned her way into this place, in a sense. So, uh, yeah, she is debatably the best mage in the game. Heals you if you're next to her by singing. Fantastic at magic. Fantastic at using her sword to deal magic attacks. Dorothea is pretty great, down to earth. Cool character. And Petra, who was mentioned before in the chat. To the west of Fodlan is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. She is a Myrmidon, and she's also a... Uh... She's from a foreign country, so her English, so to speak, isn't that good. But she's very open-minded, and whereas a lot of other characters in this are kind of elitist and xenophobic, uh, Petra is really cool and down-to-earth and on the level. Very progressive. So those are the Black Eagles. If there's any of those characters that you really, really like, make a note of them. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Lester Alliance. <laughs> Jean-Claude. That That's him. I'm Claude is my... Aside from Bernadette, there, obviously. My favourite character ours, in this game. We're not as Claude fucking rules. As the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Alright, let's learn about the students in the other class that we're not teaching. So, let's see if there's any of these people we can bring in. Let's start with the ones that we can't actually recruit, just so I'd learn about them. Claude. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little. All right, cool dude. And the person super loyal to him who can't join you is Hilda. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. If you look up Lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. So Hilda is... How do I describe Hilda? She doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> she just doesn't give any fucks. And in character, she doesn't want to fight. She doesn't, she doesn't do anything. She just loves fashion and shopping and boys. But then you send her into battle with a big fuck off axe and she rips everyone in half and it's like, okay, cool. Also, she makes any guys near her more powerful. So she's the popular girl. That's that's Hilda. But we can't have her because she is she has a thing for Claude. So, yeah, 
Lorenz. This guy. He's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on it, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. That said, deep down, he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. This guy fucking sucks. <laughs> he's the fucking worst. <laughs> he is such a dick. He's the most unlikable fucking guy in the world. I remember a support conversation I had with him where I had to, as a teacher, step forward and be like, Please stop sexually harassing girls, it's not okay. I will penalize you for this. Fucking hell, dude. So, pick him if you want to troll me. <laughs> Raphael! He comes from a merchant. Himbo! His parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and... Nah, actually, that's about it. Fucking perfect character. Training, eating. He's like the stereotypical big dumb guy character. It's like having Kronk in your party. Fuck yeah. Perfect. Comes from a merchant, despite oh, all that I know, I know. There we go. Ignatz. He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. Yeah, this guy's alright. It's kind of boring. I have strong feelings about him one way or the other. I think there was like a popularity poll and this guy came at the bottom because no one could bring themselves to care about him that much. Which ironically kind of makes me root for him a bit more. Yeah. Good, good to have an archer with good accuracy as well. His ability just means he hits better, no matter what. Lysithia. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. But watch out, she gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? That ability. So Lysithia is objectively the strongest character in the game. Um... Most Fire Emblems have a thing where they introduce a character who is actually is like sub-level 1. Like, they're actually a, a unit that's weaker than level 1. And if you raise them up to put them on par with everyone else, and then raise them up to be better than everyone else, they're the best character in the game. Uh, Fire Emblem Sacred Stones was great for this. It had a bunch of characters who fit that archetype. So if you, if you included them all in your party, you'd won the game. But, um... Yeah, objectively just the strongest, because that's Lysithia's role. She's kind of weak, and then you level her up with her stupidly high experience gain, and she kills everything. She could solo the whole game if she wanted to. Shit defenses? Why would she ever get hit? <laughs> Taking Lysithia for warp strat. Nah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go for whoever y'all vote for, so yeah. Marianne! Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter, and that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. If uh, Bernadetta is anxiety personified, Marianne is depression personified. She is incredibly soft-spoken, incredibly self-loathing. She loves animals, uh, but she's just so hard on herself, and... Uh, yeah, she's a solid mage though. Solid mage, good at anything involving animals, so riding, be it pegasi or horses. Solid character. Oh, Lysithia is great, yeah. And Hilda as well. But we can't have Hilda because we are joining the, um, the Blue Lions, so yeah. Anyway, one more to check out here. Leone. Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. She's a commoner, so already that makes her one of the better characters. She's all about going out, fighting, proving herself, pulling herself up by her bootstraps. She's cool as fuck. Yeah, Leone is super goddamn cool. Rivalry, if she's near a guy, the inverse of Hilda, she gets stronger because she wants to prove herself. She's like, fuck you, I could be just as tough as you guys. 
Respect. Big respect to Leone. Alright, so those are the golden deer. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed. That's how you Prince say that? Oh my god. Blathed. Of course, at the academy, I am. I think it's like a Welsh student. name or something. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I'm glad I didn't try I saying any of their surnames learn. during the I'm Smash Ultimate coverage of Three Houses, because that would have been embarrassing. Also, don't watch that. It's spoilers for this. Huge spoilers for this. Did any of the Blue Lions catch your attention? All right, let's learn about our own students. Obviously, we don't have to teach them all, uh, because we can sub them out for other kids from other classes. So, Dimitri. Me? Oh, um, please forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? Oh, bless him. He's a bit shy. My story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't cause you with me. Also, he's got but a I lot of if that can't be helped. emotional baggage, a lot of trauma. So, let's unpack that over time, why don't we? We have Dedui, who's also Dedui tied to our class no matter what. Dedu, sorry. Been loyally working in my service for the past four years. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him. You'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. He seems big and scary, but he's actually a really nice bloke. Uh, he's also had a pretty fucked up past, so yeah. Cool guy. And he's in your class no matter what, so I'm gonna have him and... You know, him and... Cl not Claude. Him and Dimitri are gonna be mainstays no matter what. Felix, Edgelord. Cool Edgelord. Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. He gravitates toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. Felix is like having Shadow the Hedgehog in our class. He, much like Byleth, is a sword fighter, and he always wants to prove himself that he's better than you. So, fuck yeah. Also, his ability means that if he's not paired up with anyone, he's tougher. He's fudge... Fudge? He's much fucking tougher. So, yeah. Fun times. Oh yeah, <laughs> going on the battlefield's great for trauma. Ash. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar, but I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality, so I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. He's just a nice kid. Can't say much more than that, he's just a good kid. Uh, he's a thief. He, he, he's somewhat kleptomaniac. Uh, he does have the lockpick ability, and is the only character who does, so... Maybe uh, hide your wallet's what he's about. All right, you remember when I mentioned a fuckboy? This character, if he's not in your party, if he's not in your class, and you're playing as female Byleth, you can automatically recruit him because he thinks you're hot. Unfortunately, you can't do the same with male Byleth. And he's already in our class, so that'd be redundant. That said. Well, he's always been a bit of a <clears throat> skirt chaser, so to speak. Pardon my bluntness. I speak with him about it often, but it doesn't seem to help. Yeah, this guy is a fuckboy. Right down to the fact that you can't... You, he can't ace support with any girl characters because he's obsessed with flirting with everyone. So you can't actually marry him off with anyone. I'm pretty sure if you're playing as Lady Byleth and you date him yourself, and you get that S support, you end up in like an open relationship where he still flirts with other people. So, yeah, he's a born and bred fuckboy. He can't get out of it. Mercedes. I hear she was born to imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. The best dedicated white mage in the game. Uh, she's super soft-spoken, super nice, really, really lovely. Lovely lady. Annette! Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. She's cheerful and hard-working. Brilliant, really. Though, she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. Oh, that's always good, isn't it? <laughs> well, um, that's Annette. She's cool. She's fine. She's a black mage. Ingrid! Ingrid is Count Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. 
She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. Uh, Ingrid is very similar to Leone, although she is a noble. She's just hardworking, gets down to business, doesn't fuck around. She's good friends with Sylvain and often tells him off for being a huge perv. So yeah. Oh yeah, Mercedes is a solid character. Her, she has this, like a cynical edge to her. No one in this game is like one dimensional. Even the one dimensional seeming characters, when you get to know them deep down, there is like a, another side to them. Even Lorenz, I'll admit it. Okay, like he is principled, even though he's still a massive dick. I appreciate your effort. How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Mm -hmm. and well, I will take charge of the this changes everything. Houses. Most important decision in the whole goddamn game. Alright, now, while we're on the screen, you can actually see the headshots. This is where we do ourselves a little bit of voting. So... Now so we know who we keep in, who we drop in. Dimitri, and as we meet new characters, we can have big unanimous votes about if we're bringing them in, who we're swapping them out for. If anyone dies, I've got people who we can decide who fills the void. Yeah, there we go. Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. This is Seti's little sister. Is it he is crazy no, protective no, of her. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the Ooh, three houses a mock battle, you say? to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Don't fuck up. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Alrighty, exciting stuff. Wait, does this mean our new professor is... No, I really can't believe it. But I was speaking to you so casually, as though we were companions. Oh, bless her. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Professor. You just look the same age as the rest of us, and... Don't worry, oh, Annette, you're going to the back of the class I anyway. My tongue. I don't mind if you treat me as a friend. You say that, but I just don't know about all of this. I'll admit, it doesn't sit well with me either. After all, we wish to show you due respect. Sure, but if the professor says it's okay, shouldn't that be enough? That is, if your highness can consent to such a thing. After Considering all, he's just some already mercenary from game, bumfuck nowhere. So we may as well relax our speech with our professor too, right? Well, we're not in the kingdom, so it only goes to follow that we should all speak companionably. <sighs> I concede. If the professor says it's fine, we ought to accept that kindness gratefully. As for me, I'm not sure I can manage. You don't have to force yourself if it's too difficult. You're fine with that too, right, professor? Having heard of your skills, I'm eager to meet you in battle. Come to the training Just, ground later. He's so fucking Shadow yeah, the Hedgehog. You show me what you're capable of. You aren't wasting any time, are you, Felix? As it were, count me in for any such battle. 
literally just ends the conversation with hmm pardon me i'm the I coolest would also love to observe you in battle for future reference if that's okay with you ash i won't have you speak of merely watching you should join us as well <laughs> if you get injured simply say the word and i'll patch you up straight away your highness do take care not to go overboard you worry too much to do i'll be fine i promise my companions is there not something inherently wrong with crossing blades as a way to bond with each other? Huh, I never thought of it that way. Well, if that's how you feel, I suppose you'll just stay behind while the rest of us are at the training ground? Which is Ingram, accurate to how friend. we're going to be playing this. You, really <laughs> you stay in the back, it's fine, you don't have to do anything. What do you think? As you can see, the Blue Lion House is a lively bunch. Oh yeah, Felix we'll is like work harder. a crazy good swordsman. And He's a fantastic Mimitan. But I'm very much looking forward to the year ahead. 